So, where are you from? I'm from this town. Really? And you didn't have a clue of who I was until my friend introduced us? Yeah, forgive my ignorance. I, I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Lagos. That's where I did my apprentice. A apprentice? Okay. Where do you work? Oh, I am a trader in Onicha. I have a shop at Ochanja Market where I sell motor parts, machine parts, and some other thing. You're a trader? Yeah. You mean I'm not my trader? No, my, my shop is big. I have customers. You know, they come and go. But I love you. You know, just, just stop. Stop. Really. Just stop. We are not of the same class. In the first place. And secondly, please, I do not ever want to see you again. Just stay away from me. It's. See you. My. Unbelievable. I can't believe he asked for my hand in marriage. <laughs> when I look in his eyes, I don't see him like a trader. His English is well polished, plus he dresses so well. I think there is something he's hiding. Something like what? Why do you always have to be so myopic? He's confirmed everything himself. I don't ever, ever want to see him again. Well, I would still advise you give him a chance. You know, if you worry, my friend, I'll vex you out. I don't get what your problem is. Do you always have to be so shallow-minded about everything? Please, Madam Havonos, never to allow you enter this compound. Yes, wait, listen to me, eh? You are a man like me. All I need is just to see her and talk to her. Not, I don't mean any accident. I don't have a gun. Search me. Oga, oh, try to understand. Try to understand. What's the problem here? Like, I, I was just telling him I came to see the princess. That he's just letting me go in and see her. That's Zito. Our mother has asked not to allow you to come inside this palace again. Please, you have to understand. My guy, see, eh? listen to me. There are certain things you see, you just overlook as guy, man. Oga, Oga, do you want, want madam to sack us? See, before you know it, I'm out of here. Oga, Oga, do you want madam to sack us? Wait, do you want madam to sack us? Hey, princess, where is she? Wait, please, 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 I'm sorry, I, I just want to see you, just to have a talk with you. Didn't I tell you never to come close to me? I and I was even polite to you. So what is your problem? I know, but I can't help it now. See, ever since I met you, I've not been able to sleep. Young man, I do not want to repeat myself again, okay? I am not the woman for you. Certainly, you can never, ever be the man for me, right? Find sleep somewhere else. Go. No, see... Stop bothering me. You have not given me... Leave. Okay, take some time. Oh, God, one thing else. Let me talk to her. Wait, wait, wait. I have a job at the way. Wait. Wait now. Wait, wait. Don't let me talk to her. Are you mad? I'll blow you. I'll blow you. I'll blow you. I'll blow you. Stay out. out. Come on. Ay. Come on. Come on. Stay out. Ay. Ay. Wait, wait. Ow. <laughs> Let me see here. You don't need to be here. Come back right now. 
Wait, wait! Wait, now let him go! Oh, God! Young man, what are you doing here? Who are you? And why are they handling you? I... I'm sorry, I, I only came to see the princess. All I wanted to do was tell her I loved her and then she asked them to throw me out. Are you sure what I say? How can I lie to you? It's like you're her brother. I'm sure. Hmm? Certain. Can you help me talk to her? Just Shh. Yeah, I you can go. Why would my sister be rude to people? him because he proposed to her. Sister Angelica is your friend and she listens to your advice. She's very hostile to people and that brings bad names to our family. So after all my pleads, she still went ahead to hurt that guy. What baffles me most is how she goes around calling that guy an ordinary trader in Onicha. <laughs> most everybody, most everybody come from America like Jonathan. But funny enough, yeah, there's something about that guy. I see greatness in him. I'll be on my way. I will really appreciate if you can talk some sense into her. No problem. I will. I'm so glad you came to tell me about this. You're yeah, a very good man, just like your father. <laughs> huh? I'm very good with you guys. Alright, dear. Okay. Take care of yourself. See you next time. <laughs> with you mom i'm okay how are you are you sure you're fine yeah i was just lost in thought but i'm cool let it be that everything is okay with you everything is okay good Money, money, money. Dream come true. Anyway, I love it though. Baby, I need to take you shopping, you know? You're a good woman. It's a long time I ever took you anywhere, you know? I know you're busy, but I need to take you shopping. 
they change your wardrobe and all that. Take you. How about taking you go to spend a day in the spa? Give you a pedicure and all that. Work on your nails. You get a deep massage. Hmm? I don't think this woman is coming. I think I have to go to the bedroom now. I'll I check the alarm and make sure that you wake up on time. Okay. I mean, why should Injideka be so rude and wicked? Why she should be wicked? What, what, what is the matter, Kenneth? I regret having her as a sister. Ah. She's a wicked person. Kenneth! How dare you speak in such a manner about your elder sister? That's so rude of you. Are you stupid? Kenneth. Don't you have respect? Your mother is right. You do not speak of your sister in such manner. What happened? Forgive me, father. I saw a young man being rough handled at our gate by our guards. So I asked them what the problem was. They said, Princess Njidega ordered them to beat him up. Why? Njidega ordered the guards to beat up a man. What was his offense? The young man simply asked for a hand in marriage. That's all. Did you do that? Um, Your Highness, don't draw your conclusions yet. I'm sure she must have her reasons. Jideka is not stupid. And how stupid could that have been to warrant her ordering the guards to beat a man up? Well, I will have to see about this young lady's manners before she ruins my reputation and that of my kingdom. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Yes, talk to her. She's my daughter. I really can't wait for you to just come and take me away. It's becoming really tiring. Yes, everybody's mounting pressure on me. I just can't bear it anymore. That's why you have to come. Come so that you can pay my bride price. wait for you. I have nowhere to go. But I just want you to come back soon. Okay? Because the pressure is becoming too much. Left, right and center. And there's nobody here to support me. If you come back quickly and you pay my diary, all will be well. Finally made it. That's a beautiful house. Oh, thank you so much.
much. And my husband, she is not even at home now. Probably he might be coming in with some. So you are by yourself or? Really? Off to there, supposed to be at home. Chica, chica. Okay, what can I get for you now? Chica, anything is okay by me. Like red wine or white wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go with red wine. I love red wine. Okay. You got everything right? Good. And my partner in Ghana, yes, yes, yes. Two Range Rovers, one Mercedes and a Jag. Absolutely. Hey, hold on, okay? I just got one. Hold on. How's your day? Mm. Hey, babe. Hi. Hey, madam. How's your day going? Good. I've been yes, a little happy, so I'll be right back. Oh, sure. Hey, hold on a minute. Hold on. My friend, my friend, I told you about hey, that day now. Nice to meet you. And you too. My name is Jonathan. Nice meeting you. My right. name is Stainless. AKA wow. Stainless. Stainless. Oh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> nice name. Right. Um, me, I've been in the room. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. Hey. Yeah, so the wires, you got everything. Alright, thanks. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> so my husband, my only and only one. So two of you are just, you are really, really married with him? Yes, it's my husband. Have oh. we been married for long now? Is there any way we can talk privately? Chica, I need to talk to you. That man is not a good man. Chica, you won't believe me. He is not a good man. Can you say that? Hi. Chica, I know him very well. You know him? I know him very well, Chica. Oh, where did you know him? Well, I thought you were just meeting my husband. Where did I, you know him? I knew him right from the time. He is the one that always drove, you know, Doka's daughter. <laughs> Tell me, what is it? Did you oh. hear anything or what? This man is dating Doka's daughter. Every time he would take her to shopping. Eh? Hey! In fact, he is spending a lot of money on this girl. Hey! Tell you the truth. And you know I always go to Dakar's house. Hey! hey. Men, men are something. I, I, no, 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 no. I don't want. I don't want to believe this. Oh, mm -mm. Chica, excuse me, that, please. I hope what you're saying now is true. That man, I hate lies. Chica, that man is spending your money. On it's that girl. <laughs> no, this is, this is not true. This Chica, you need to believe true. me. I, I am not lying to you. This. Chica, I, I am not this. lying to you. When that girl was pushing him out of the baby shower, buddy, my own husband. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Now I understand. Eh? Because. Any petition. Okay. I was surprised to see my husband. See what I'm telling you? <laughs> Are you sure he's not the one responsible for that baby? Chica, you need to shut your eyes. You need to act fast. In fact, I am sick and tired. I don't think I will stay here. Man, I mean, even the doctors told me about men. Hey! Chica, I, oh, Lord. You know what, Chica? I have to go. I have somewhere else that I have to touch before going home. Okay? Let's just go in. Just, okay. oh, just think about it, okay? Oh, mm -hmm. God. Have to. Hey! Let's hey. just go. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come here. Chica, believe me. Okay, 
chica. Just leave, 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 leave. 
Don't hug me more. Don't hug me. Don't hug me more. Please leave. Uh, it's okay. Keep on listening to us. That's why none of them have to talk to us. You don't know from one day to one day to one day. Moving on, moving on. They have two great children. No man in their life. And they want you to be like that. It's okay. Keep listening to them. But it's going to be dead. It's a promise you. It's alright. I'm going. It's okay. I'll go. Stay here alone, or you stay with your parents? I stay with my parents. Oh, that's too much. But they are late. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry about my friend, the princess. Please, really forgive her. <laughs> too funny. I don't keep such things in mind. I already did. I didn't come here because of her. I came here because of you. I don't understand. That's the dress I want to wear for my wedding. Okay. Mm. It's gorgeous. Wow. Very beautiful. Okay. It's really going to be so suiting on you. I know. <laughs> God, I can just imagine myself walking down the aisle with this dress. Oh, <laughs> my wedding is going to be so big. <laughs> of course, you will, my daughter, because you deserve it. The talk of the town, mom. Yeah, I know. But Jonathan said that he is going to be coming back with some of his white friends. <laughs> Yeah. I can't wait to come to America for more child's visit. <laughs> Just wait. Not, not to worry. We will spoil you, silly. When you I know, and I trust you. I know what you can do, my daughter. Um, this is a pretty shoe, but I think I should go for the first one. Mm. Wow, mom, look at this ring. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I think I prefer the one I picked up before. Right? Okay, the one with the platinum. Yeah. Okay. I've always wanted my my rings to be platinum, <laughs> big and with a very huge rock. <laughs> okay. I can't miss that out. The rock must be big. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hosting. <laughs> So when are you going to come visit me in my house? Well, that will be after I see my friend. Wait, like you need her permission to come visit me? No! <laughs> no, I just um, have to discuss something with her first. I just hope I'm safe. Come on, you're safe and you have to trust me because with me, you're safe. Yeah, right, I trust you. <laughs> Bless her. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, cool. I guess I have to run along. I'll give you a call when I get here. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming once again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take care of you. All right. Um, okay. Take care. Thanks for coming. Angel, what you did was wrong. How could you have asked your guards to flog that guy? So, I'm the bad person. Besides, I never even asked the guards to flog him. 
I just asked them to send him away because I didn't want to see him. But your brother Kenneth came to my house and explained everything to me. He even asked me to plead with you to try and be nice to people. Well, that's certain right. I've made it clear that I do not want to be in love or get married to or even have a relationship with a traitor. For God's sakes, I'm in love with the Jonathan. Seriously. And Jonathan is what I want. Seriously. There's something so special about that guy. I really don't know why you're not saying it. I don't. Oh, please don't tell me that you have fallen for him. Uh, I don't know that you have taste and you love class. So, I'll let that question pass. So, are you saying you don't want to have anything to do with Frank? Not even in my next life. No. Nay, me, no. Not, no, that's not gonna happen. Look, I am in love with Jonathan. And Jonathan is all that I want. Thank you. I'm glad you like my place. Well, it's um, not just about the house. It's about you. I like your person. You're, you're kind. <laughs> Thank you. But would you want to have a trader like me as a husband? Um, is that supposed to be some kind of a proposal? No, um, I'm sorry. Sorry, I... I forgot I'm not worthy to be your husband. Come on, I don't like it when you talk like that. We are all equal in the eyes of God. So do I take it to accept it? <laughs> well, um, will you just give me time to think about it? Good. Take all the time, but I, I just pray your answer is yes eventually. <laughs> um, so, where is your shop in Onitsha Market? I'd um, like to come around to know where your shop is. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't talk about that. You cannot visit me in my shop. My shop is in Otanja. You know Otanja Market. Inside, inside. If you come there, Potapota Pota will just spoil this a fine face for you. <laughs> so, no, 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 don't think about it. I don't mind. I'm serious. I would like to come. You want to come to Otanja? Okay, I'll, I'll write you the address later. What are you doing here? What are you doing in this What do you mean by what I'm doing here? Joey, it's either you're a fool or you lack sense of morality. Why, why has it come to that? I thought you were my wife. I've been going around looking for a place for us. I'm following my heart just like you said. And I want to spend the rest of my natural life with you. What's wrong with that? You don't even have a natural or a normal life. How can you say what you don't have? Do me a favor. Seriously, do me a favor. You see that door? Go back to your wife. She needs you. How do you know that? And why would you even say that to the only man in your life, the father of your only child? The towel that you used to take a bath today, go back and clean your face again. Because only a real woman knows who is the actual father of her child. I broke up with Chica and all her money, I let go. And I just want to spend the rest of my life with you. Joey, you are a big fool. What's come over you? Without your wife's money, you and I have nothing. You are a broke ass. You hear my words? Oh, broke ass. Please, oh yeah, do me a favor. You see that door? Stop walking. I'm not gonna deal with you. You're done. No money, no love. Look at me. And look at this compound. Take a look around this compound. 
That's money, sweetheart. I'm young. I need a rich man in my life. So, oh yeah, you see that door? Get the step. I've lost everywhere. What am I going to do now? How am I going to face Princess Injitaka with nothing to show for myself? I think I'm gonna switch all my cell phones off. You, I left Chica because of you. Why is Jonathan not picking up his phone? This is my life. It's you I want. It's you I want to be with. I'm just bothered because I... I didn't tell her about us. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. It's, it's your life. You're fine, I guess. You don't have to tell her. You're not... 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 You're I think it's a really good for me because uh, it's one way I think I could give back to the society for who I am. Um, I've actually registered the NGO, just need a few names, maybe two or three of my friends to just get the board of trustee, but just a dummy name though. <laughs> that reminds me, Jude. Your friend Nancy, she doesn't come to the palace. I mean, is there any problem? Oh no, I don't want to talk about that. Why are you talking like this? I thought she's your close friend. Yes, she is my close friend, but I don't want to. Okay, she disappointed me. Mom, can we just change the topic now? Can you say so? So yeah, like I was saying, um, it would be really good, you know, if my concentration are going to be on the less privileged children or homeless pregnant women, the abandoned pregnant women, which I think is a good area. Nobody's wrong. of man. I love the way he looks. I wish he would turn out good as he looks.
Hello. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, this is Moni. Yeah. So, how are you doing? Got home already? Okay. Wait, well, I decided to call you before I go to bed. Just go home because if I don't do it now, I might forget again. Yes. Okay. Where mm -hmm. I live? Um, you want the address? Okay. Just want to give you a shot, just like I promise. I don't want to fail my promise. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, my friend. <laughs> yeah, she, she has gone. She just dropped me and then left. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>the money and then after that we bounce we can't we can't we can't be in texas that long dog that that's no real problem. shit but she gonna find out like you say we can go to miami and we can go get some more but we're gonna have to chill out for a minute you feel me all right there's no problem as long as we going 50 50 i got the money already set up hold on say what 50 50 we're gonna do 50 50 50 what no uh, hell no man. i ain't gonna be doing all the work and then you know we gonna split 50 50 why is it not 50-50 and I did the work? My master plan. Man, you did what? You ain't, be, you ain't do shit. I did everything. I did the hard work. I did the work. I am the one told you how to take her to take a shower. I'm the one put you down, man. I might not you the one. You the one who I was did. helping me stroke her? Hell no, man. I did everything by myself. It was That's my all plan. you did. It was my plan. Fuck the plan, man. It was my man work. 
I did everything. We ain't spending no 50-50. But I mean we wouldn't have no money right now. That's why the money's sitting in my account right now. It's sitting in your account because I wired it to your account. That's right, so I had to do the hard work. You didn't do shit. So you, you just me you sat, didn't enjoy All it. you just did was sit at home on your computer and do nothing. I was the one picking the chick up. I was the one showering her. I treated her right. Man, that's all. That's all me, man. And that was all because I told you how to do this. I you was the coach. I'm the mastermind. You didn't tell me how to do shit. That's all me. All you did was just sat at home in front of your computer doing shit. Taking a penitentiary test that me and you both have to live with. You Hell understand no, me? Man. All Hell you doing no. is escaping. I got all the fucking fingerprints on everything. On the broad. You ain't got no fingerprints on the money being recharged. This is my action. You understand me? I'm, I'm, I'm no, here for you. No, now, I, I understand I that the game is good. You feel me? Now, we can go 60-40 and bring in my way instead of going for 50 Hell no, and it's my way or the highway. I'd say 70-30. And that's it. That's a fair deal. How is that a fair that's deal? That's a fair deal because I I'm did not, every I shit, I didn't try to bitch with you. Nigga, I don't care. I, you, you think I felt good? Oh, who knows what I got? I got a fucking wife at home, man. Business, man. We boys, and this, this is, is business. This is business. You just said it. It's business, and we boys, boys, ain't, that ain't we, that ain't got nothing to do with business, man. So business is business. Yeah, I get it. I was bro. thinking I about, it. I was thinking about saying it, seventy thirty. Now I can, you know, I can give you something, something. But I can't give you no 50-50. Actually, it's no. supposed to be 60-40 my way because it's 60, my plane. Nah, you know, these hey, no, nah, it ain't 50-50. It's 70-30. It's either that or you bounce. You get the fuck out of my car right now. So it's your way out. Hell yeah. Yeah, My boy had truly messed up my life. Hey! Oh. Can you imagine clearing all my accounts to red? Why did I even authorize him to be a signatory to every aspect of my business? Hmm? Now I have lost the confidence and respect for my children. I'm finished. I'm finished. I have become a laughing stock in this Houston. In fact, the most painful aspect of this calamity is losing my home health and nursing licenses. Hell, hell. Oh my God. Can somebody tell me that this is a dream? I don't know if Chica will ever forgive me for allowing my children to mess up her relationship with Jonathan. Ow! Docas. Docas. Hambalawang. You are finished. Oh. Ha! What a tangled web we weave when we think we are deceiving people around us. What a shattered dream. Because I misplaced my priorities and was complacent and morally weak in upholding my parental obligations as a mother. How? Mm. Mm. Mm.
Mom. Oh, that's his name again. Kelly? He's in prison. The friend of him. I don't even know when he's coming out. <laughs> Mom, I'm homeless, man. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I hope you and your sibling will find it in your heart to forgive me for not being a good mother to you guys. I just really need to focus on the future. I really messed myself up. I don't even have a roof over my head anymore. <laughs> Okay. I didn't do all the, all the things I was supposed to do at the time I was supposed to do them. Hey, I really messed up. Oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We can manage. We can manage. We can manage. We'll find your way. For this sake, God will help us. Kelsey. Kelsey went back to school. And Chrissy. Chrissy is just like me. She's on the street. Oh my god. Can you bring her back to me? She's not a friend. Please help me bring her back. Let me begin to show them love to her. I really messed myself. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Please help me bring them back. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's his name? Priestley. Priestley. Priestley, my baby. You have to forgive us because of him. What's his name? Henry. It is good to see you happy in America. So how is America? Yeah, America is cool. It's quite nice though. I mean, it's a, it's a place everybody want to be. A place to be, trust me. I mean, there can't be any better country like America. Rihanna, um, I want to use this opportunity to say I do appreciate all you did to me in the past. I mean, I, I really appreciate you. Rihanna, even when you knew I ain't your biological son, you still sent me to the United States. I appreciate you, sir. Henry, Henry, I have told you, stop talking like that. My brother's son is my son. That makes you my son. I only did what I should. 
Uh, that's what's up. That's what's up, Uncle Bo. I still have to give gratitude. Yeah. You see, um, in return for the love you showed in me, as we speak right now, I'm working on Kenneth's trip to the United States. For real. Yeah, and um, I want it to be a surprise to the rest of the family. At least I feel. I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. But the girls bless you. Thank you, sir. This is Jonathan. How did you know him? Well, Harry, is there anything you know about this Jonathan guy? Please tell us. Oh, come on. You see, I know this dude very well. He resides in the United States, Texas, to be precise, where I am. For real. He used to put up with a lady who housed him, clothes him, feeds him, and does virtually everything for him. Until one day, the lady found out that he is cheating on her. Leave my husband, please. To the extent of impregnating on all the lady. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Jonathan lives with a woman somewhere. For real? Then get somebody else pregnant somewhere else. Exactly what I'm saying. As we speak right now, the lady kicked him out of her creed. And equally, the one that he got impregnated also denied him as the father of a child. Why, why does it come to that? I told you my wife. The towel that you used to take a bath today, go back and clean your face again. Because only a real woman knows who is the actual father of her child. See that door? Get the step in. Henry! Yeah? Are you really sure of all this you're saying? Come on. I know what I'm talking about. Jonathan, I know him very well. Are you really sure about what you're saying? Because they are really damaging facts. Hurting. You see, what do I stand to gain if I lie again? How am I supposed to know that? I don't suspect that America stops. Shh. Well, let him talk. Let him talk. Did I not warn you about this boy? Now, Uche came here. Miss Uche. And as for your hand in marriage, you rejected. You made that boy feel rejected and insulted. Because of one man in America whose lifetime you don't even know. Okay, the question is, what do we do now? <laughs> we? Did you say we? No, I'm not involved anymore. Mm -mm, I'm not involved. Not in anymore. Because neither mother nor daughter heeded to my advice when I was advising. We don't know this for sure. It's, it could be just a rumor. So why is everybody taking it serious? Like it's, it's happening already. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? You know what, Dad? Uh, something can be done about it. Something like what? Like, why are we not even investigating him? What are we sure he's doing in America? How does he even? Can't you just see? But it's like the other time when everyone thought Dad was a ritualist, but we all knew that he wasn't. So this is one of those times. So all of you just lay back and don't do this to me. You just lay back. That I'm quite sure who I'm talking about. I know this for real. He's a nobody. Well, it's okay. He showed me love. And he got me gifts every other day. How was I supposed to know he was a fake? Like that's an error on your side, huh? You shouldn't have given him 100% trust in this relationship. And because of this same dude, you have to you have to treat people like they meant nothing to you. It's crazy. No, I was carried away. I was carried away by the way he loved me and the way he did everything that he did. It's only natural. Jonathan. Jonathan, trust me, wherever you are in Texas, I'm official as I'm official, trust me, you know what I'm capable of doing, huh? Nobody fuck with me, even my cousin, nobody. Dead. I hope you're not gonna do anything silly. And don't tell me you're still in love with that ass, so after all he's done to you? You're still in love with that motherfucker? Damn! Just look at you. Look, look, take a good look at you. 
get you some. <laughs> I'm not gonna take this, man. Nah, 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 nah. I remember way back when I used to walk in OB Bank in Houston, Texas. Niggas like Jonathan shines my shoes. They shine my shoes. He can do a check. But I tell you something, baby. <laughs> you watch me act. You watch me act. I'm street, baby. I'm street. Everybody know me in Texas that I'm street. Watch me act, baby. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright? You'll be fine. Okay? I'll be right back. Jonathan. Oh, the bottom line is all from the The boy, they did just enjoy. People, they come, people, they go. Nobody good enough for uh, overseas. Nothing. I'm just suffering and smiling. Oh, come on. Can't you see how big and fresh you look? Oh, come on. You can see that again. I'm going to look like you when I cross over to Texas. <laughs> I would say, you know what I'm saying. Share, nigga, man. Share. Big bro! I'm happy for you guys. Trust me. Big bro, I'm happy. I'm here for you. For real. You see, I just want to put up something straight to you right now. Nobody, and I repeat. Nobody could do what Igwe did to me. To the extent of sending me abroad, just check me out now. I'm a big show. Yeah. I can't forget that man who in me love. <laughs> Henry. Henry. Stop crying. It's not the end of life. It's enough. Stop crying. <laughs> What kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? I mean, what am I living for? Losing one's parents in a ghastly motor accident? Both of them at once? Do what? What am I living for? What kind of life is this? Uh, what kind of life? Hey, how do I live with Harry, Harry, stop that. I don't ever want to hear you speak like that of yourself again. Stop crying. 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 Stop and I promise you, I will do everything to make life better for you. Just stop crying. I will do everything I can do for you. Stop crying, sir. It's all right with your license. Igwe is such a nice man. Seriously. Like seriously I hold him in love. Trust me, for real. I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Well bro, you're a good person. Because not everybody will remember. They are going to come and say thank you. <laughs> you can say that again. You see, the world is turning upside down. For real. What a whole lot of people like today is crowd of you. A whole lot of people today lack what we call gratitude. But everybody's not saying I'm different. You know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna do what I gotta do. Because he is my uncle. He's all I got for now. You see my big bros here. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to be your love. You taught us how to return favors. <laughs> Kennedy, you can sense the amazing. You know what boys? Come and get up. Get your ass on the man. I want to do something like this. I'm taking you guys out. Yeah. I'm gonna spoil you, bro. I saw go and grow with you, boy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mommy. <laughs> mommy, this is Prince Uche from Amudara Kingdom. I've heard much about him. And I hope you said good things about me. Yes, of course. <laughs> good day, Mom. Yeah, well, um, um, I'm here actually to meet with you for your daughter's sake. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm honored by this real visit. Even I have been wondering what might have brought his majesty to my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's just good news, Mom. It's just good news, nothing bad. And, you know. Yes, good news, Mama. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama, today, 
The prince has found favor before the gods, and they have directed the steps to your house. Please, let us also find favor in your eyes. <laughs> please, my son, please, uh, uh, you better use a plain language so that I can understand. I'm confused. Well, there's I'm no a, need to I'm a, I'm a, break it down for her. Okay. No, break it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> Mama, it, it, it's about your daughter, Franca. My daughter, yes. Franca? Yes. I hope Everything all is like, well. Oh, all, all is well. Okay, uh, let's go inside. <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Twenty miles long. That's pipeline from Abu Dhabi to um, Dubai. And all they can have for me is three billion dollars. Let me call you back. Listen, what do you think? You're not supposed to take that from them. I have a better deal. You have a better deal. Think yes. you have something better than Jewish offer me? I only offer them the ground from Istanbul. <laughs> okay. What about the deal with the Anambra State, you know, Orient Petroleum for a fan? Yeah, I just closed up the deal, got it signed a while ago. That's excellent. That's excellent. <laughs> I think this could end up being a very good deal at the long test. Who says I'm for sale? <laughs> So you guys, I know we're still having fun. What's up? How are you? Finally got here. Finally got here, right? I know. I've been stuck in traffic. You know how this city is. Yeah. I know. Guys, um, I want to introduce you to a very special person to me, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is Monia, and these are my business associates. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think it would be cool if we could just introduce yeah. ourselves yeah. one by one. Okay. okay. You me? Uh -huh. CEO of James International. Calvin Joseph, uh -huh. the director of Golden Petroleum, Houston, Texas. Dr. Henry Kaffer, CEO of Red Petroleum International. Joseph Morgan, CEO of Grand Oil International. Um, I'm Dr. Julia Benson, CEO of Top Wine Oil and Gas. My mom, Prince Musa Katanga Dagash. It's not the bourbon, it's your beauty. Nice meeting you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for introducing yourselves. And uh, <clears throat> I must say, I really want to thank you all for coming to this little gathering. And it's a surprise, more or less, but I didn't make uh, her aware about it. So I just want to show her what the surprise is. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. I can see that coming. Ah. <laughs> Wow. Uh -huh. that's oh, yeah. wow. wow, that's a big one. Wow. All right. Yes. 
yes, yes. Yes. But Frank is my son, my only son. He told me of his plans and I allowed him to carry it out. Yeah, he said that he wants a lady that will marry him and love him as Frank, not as the governor's son. And that person is mm you. -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am. And even when the princess tried to intimidate him by getting her common guards to flog him and all that, I would have dealt with her. But he said no, that it would ruin his plans. If she gets to know that uh, he is the governor's son. Her pride has made her a loser. Exactly. I pity the man that will marry her. Mom. Dad. Enough of the talk about the princess. Nancy and I have had a rough day, so I'd like to take her inside so she freshens up. After which you bring her back to us, okay? <laughs> Honey, I think we should get to know her better over dinner. Yes. Mm -hmm. As it pleases your excellency. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, today is the happiest day. Finally, my son has got a life partner. Just like you've got a life partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the happiest man on earth. I thank God for bringing you my way. Why did you choose to hide your identity? I thought men of your class prefer to marry ladies of their same class, like daughters of commissioners, governors, and even the president's daughters. Well, I'm not one of such men. Why did you choose me? I chose you because I wanted a wife like my mother. Someone who is holy and humble. Someone I could totally rely on. <laughs> Are you thinking I have those qualities you just mentioned? Okay. <laughs> I know you have all these and much more. <laughs> Don't tell me you're not aware that Nancy's, Nancy's wedding. I mean, there will be a very big wedding tomorrow between Nancy and Frank. Oh, we know that Frank is getting married to Nancy, but please stop exaggerating. It's not a very big wedding. He's getting married to the truth. Mom, remember Frank? He said that TV brother asked me how you know. Yes. I told me that he had this shop in the Achanja market. Yeah. I didn't agree for him. Nancy fell in love with him and they're going to get married. I'm happy for them, okay? Uh, I didn't get married to him because I had someone else that time. But please. It's a trigger. He confirmed that to me himself. Frank is the governor's son. If not that you're my son's friend, I would have asked you to leave my presence this moment. How can you come here to tease all of us? Um, Judy, dude, are you really sure of what you're saying? Like, you're very sure of what you're saying? Do you know what that means? Okay, your friends. Have I ever lied to you before? Frank is the government's son.
This is for real. It's nothing, it's just that everybody wants to get married to me, including you, the son of the king of the smallest, not even up to a community town. I will not allow you to call me names. But the truth is, I'm just a woman in love. I'm sorry if I took so much of your time and, and everything, but... No, I can't get married to you because I love someone else. You will regret this, Princess Finjadeka. Look at what I've done to myself. I wish I'd listened to my father and every other person who was telling me the truth. I wouldn't have ended up in this mess. Where do I go from here? I'm now the subject of ridicule amongst my mates. How do I face this stigma? My princess, lunch is ready. My princess, I said lunch is ready. Oh, I'm not hungry. My princess, your majesty, the queen and the king are actually eating together. So, oh, your majesty and the queen that I said, I am not hungry. But my princess... Get out! Sweet talk me so much. That nurse is going to get married to a governor's son. God knows I don't envy her. I wish I will. But you turn. Oh dear. You're here and I've been looking for you. Take it easy, my daughter. Please, I just, I just want to let the Lord please me. I understand what you're passing through. No, Mom, please just stop saying that because you don't understand what I am going through. You can't understand, okay? All I want is for you to just leave me alone so I can think. Now, don't do anything stupid. What am I leaving for? What? Ah, Adam, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. It's not what it's. Mom, please don't. He doesn't deserve you. Mom, please, just leave. Oh, just I leave me alone. Please, let me just be alone. It's easy. Just leave me alone. Please. Please. Come on. What's going on? Huh? Princess, I told you. Yeah, what's going on here, Lolo? Uh, perhaps you excuse us so I can talk to her in private. All right? Sweetheart, you'll be fine. Forget it, Barry. Okay? I know what you're going through right now. I've told you a couple of times. I said, forget about him. Forget about that dude called Jonathan. He's past this. He's homeless. He's a nobody. He's homeless. That nigga shine my shoe way back, baby. 
So what you want to do with self personality? Okay? I want you to understand that you still got aid by your side. Look at the future and stop dwelling in the past. Okay? You'll be fine, baby. Alright? You'll be fine. I'm here for you. You just have to figure that out. Okay? I'm chill. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay? Thank you very much for your hospitality. Oh, well, I'm very really delighted and honored for this visit. Hope all is well. How is your father? Yes, all is well, and um, Your Majesty is doing excellently well. Thank you. Very good. Well, um. I came to apologize for the incident that happened the other time. Well, I forgave you that day. I don't keep grudges, okay? You've been forgiven. Oh. Thank you, that's, that's nice. Well, I have... I've been thinking, you know, about the family arrangement thing. Basically, like you said the other time, my father and your father have been friends for donkey years. And I'm sure all those years, all they ever wanted was for us to be together. Right? So, all I'm saying is maybe we just try and make it work. Mm. If for nothing, just like a gift to give our parents just to be happy. <laughs> make it work, make it work. But you didn't tell me you were thinking. And I remembered you told me you were in love with someone else. And, uh, well, I've worked on my life, and uh, as you can see, uh, I, I guess you know what this means. I'm actually uh, married right now, even waiting for a child. Mm, no. No, it's... <sighs> Sorry. God, I... I didn't know. I, I'm really sorry. My regards to, to your family, okay? What was the meaning of that, my brother? I don't know. She nearly ran over me. And sorry for that. I don't think all is well with her. She dashed out of this palace early this morning without her real maids. And come back looking like someone of sin spirit is after. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. Why are you acting as if you are a JJ's in this palace? Hmm? Ever since you stepped your foot into this palace, has anybody ever been well with her? In fact, me, I'm, I'm even thinking she's possessed. Hmm. I'm about. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. She's coming. I'm about. Go, 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 go. go, go. I know for now you talk. Go, go. <laughs> Fools. <laughs> Adam, it's not the end of the world, eh? Hmm? Take it easy. Does he have any choice? Does she have any choice? But I take it easy. This is what I've been saying all this while. Did you listen to me? No. Just like the dog back. My husband is in America. My husband is in America. We rejected every single suitor that came your way. For somebody in America. Igwe, is that all you have to say? This when our daughter needs us most. I don't want to be part of this nonsense. She has to deal with it.
for living with this uh, famous. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, there's a baby my boy baby in girl. here. What? It's baby my baby girl. girl. <laughs> wow. We need a new no, it's my baby girl, please. Oh, don't say that again, you know. Baby boy, boy, um, boy. boy. Uh -huh. Baby. Yes. What is there's it? There's something I have to tell you. Uh -huh. Baby, do you know that? Into the girl's mother. Went to comfort my mother. Ah. According to her, mm -hmm. she said my mother betrayed her <laughs> by allowing me to get married to you. She even promised never to forgive my mother. Interesting. But baby, please. I don't want you to be bothered with these kind of things. You know, I mean, look at the condition now. This man is our baby. You are pregnant. Her mother deceived her by stopping her from marrying me. <laughs> I don't even believe that. Almighty oh, Princess Njideka will ever come back to you. After all her bragging. Oh, oh baby, this is why I'm called the Prince Uche. The most respected and handsome prince of our modern That's land. Why, baby, yeah. Listen, you know, it's pride. Princess Angelica comes to me because she thinks that I'm a fool. Hmm. You know, there was a guy in America who was actually supposed to marry her, who planned to marry her, promised her. Mm. And the guy failed her. <laughs> and she also lost the governor's son. And she thought that, well, let me just go to this fool, to this food jack and get him easily like that. It can't work like that. What is that? Baby. Baby. What is that? You mean I'm labor? feeling it. Labor? It's coming. Oh, baby, it's oh, coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my it's oh, my coming. God. Let me call my dog. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm talking. Baby, it's coming. Yeah, very. And so it was nowadays. The first son of the king always got groomed to take over the responsibilities of the kingdom. And every single member of the family, he or she must comport his or her son in public places because of that real blood. And things According to the statement presented by his president's spokesman, Dr. Mike Obedison, the president is back from his trip to China. The president said that Nigeria and China has come to a mutual understanding and this will elevate the country's economy. Earlier today, our governor's only son, Mr. Frank Okoro, tied a knot with former Miss Nancy Massey in a holy matrimony. The occasion, greased by cream de la cream of the society, took place at Holy Saints Cathedral oh, in Mugusi. You know him? Yeah, of course I know him. He's the gardener's son. Do you know that this same young man came here to ask for Angie Deka's hand in marriage? She rejected him. Damn. Yes. Damn. Trust me, I'm coming real quick for your ass. Real quick. Nobody messes with my cousin and goes scot free. Nah. Jonathan, how can you do this to me? Oh, I'm finished. After all my bragging and the pride. for you, Jonathan. I've waited all my life for you, being faithful. God, Jonathan, why? Have you brought so much shame to me? God, what I do to deserve this?
Let's go.